What's up guys? Right, I've come to realize that there's a genuine technical analysis that one can do in the cryptocurrency space when they're looking at price volatility in a project's shitcoin, okay? And essentially what I've realized is horoscopes are an invaluable way to understand uh, the market dynamics within a certain project's coin and whether or not it's going to go to the moon. Of course, horoscopes and moon are inextricably connected. It's a, a no fucking brainer that one would use a horoscope on the daily to look at the charts, put them next to one another and realize what's going to moon and what's going to Saturn. Essentially, I want to walk you through my process, okay? how I take a look at my daily horoscopes and I apply them to my trading behaviors and activities, my technical analysis on the price volatility of a, of a token. In this video, we're gonna be looking at uh, Bitcoin, of course, because a uh, lot of action and activity in Bitcoin right now. So that's exciting times. This is not, it's, it's just not trading uh, advice, like investment advice or anything, okay? So don't fucking hold me, hold me to account. I tend to uh, do my own analysis. In the, in the past, I, I haven't been so successful, but of course going forward in the future now, I have my new horoscope uh, method. I call it the TAH, the Technical Analysis Horoscope Method. And uh, you can try it out yourself. Of course, we all have different star signs. So my star sign might not apply to yours. I'm a Cancerian, so all you Cancerians out there are probably going to find this video extremely valuable. Uh, it's kind of a new uh, technical analysis method, but going forward, I think we're going to see the uh, proof is in the pudding, as they say, right? After watching this uh, deep, thoughtful, horoscopic technical analysis on Bitcoin and the price volatility, please do share this video with your mates. I've had some really, really awesome feedback. If you look at any of my older videos and you look in the comments section, you'll see uh, some very thoughtful and provocative ideas and concepts coming forward from the community. And I, I wanna thank you guys for that. All right, guys, so let's dive right on in. Basically, I found this, uh, this uh, horoscope, uh, Bitcoin horoscope guy called Zoid Soft here. He made a video back in 2017, and uh, essentially he does uh, come. He's come up with something extremely interesting when it comes to astrology and the uh, what he calls the coming infrastructure inversion. So I'll just play a little bit of this for you, and uh, you'll start to get a get an understanding of where uh, where I'm coming from. Uh, the only way to kill Bitcoin is to unplug the internet and do it snake Pliskin style where everything is just, uh, you know, we're back into the Stone Age, like the way the Amish uh, live around here, for example. It's, it's financial suicide at this point for the banks to do that. So they're not going to, if they cut internet for any length of time, uh, there is there's going to be all kinds of problems. Um, so this is not something that authority would willingly do. Uh, in the future, I'm expecting to see a big pr uh, price hike uh, in, in this regard. Right now it's falling. If we look at what's going on right now, uh, we're, it was a Virgo period here. This Virgo period was a flattening out again. It was an Aries Virgo. Uh, the other thing I, I was saying uh, here, it's a nocturnal chart, and Saturn generally is the most malefic planet in a nocturnal chart, whereas Mars is in a diurnal. Uh, so as you can see, the guy is super, super fucking knowledgeable when it comes to Bitcoin and astrology. Uh, so how we apply what we understand from uh, how he presents himself and his ideas and how we can apply them in real life it depends a lot on your um your star sign and I, like i said before mine's a cancerious so all i can do is apply my uh what's happening in the astrology world around cancerians to to the bitcoin charts so 
if we have a look here, we can see uh, Cancer is uh, one of these. I'm not sure which one, but it's uh, it's got to be one of these. All right, um, we'll come back to that. Uh, once I figure that out, I'm uh, quite new to this technical analysis. So what we'll do is we'll we'll jump straight into the charts. Let's have a look at the charts. So here's the charts of uh, Bitcoin and uh, some raw data. Load the raw data here. So we can see some stuff uh, regarding the weight of a price and uh, some other stuff here. Uh, maybe, maybe we should go back to that guy. Let's go back to that guy. I'm not going to explain the theory behind that, but uh, just to highlight the fact that Virgo periods probably would make you think that this could be the time when uh, things aren't looking so good for Bitcoin. But uh, the other thing is that it seems that in previous period, Virgo periods, it's also when things bottom out. Uh, like I said, uh, there was this period around here. Uh, here is when it was still going up. Um, again, this is a Capricorn period, and that the previous Capricorn periods have shown big price spikes. Uh, the one in 2013 was the, the biggest one. Uh, where it went from a few dollars up to eleven hundred dollars. That's the that's the one that I noticed uh, the most. Uh, it's the biggest of the past. Uh, was in the fall of twenty thirteen. Uh, now we get to the other periods, and I was thinking the same thing. Looking more closely with Pisces, the same thing. Here, the theory is that uh, it's the place of acquisition, and it's the eighth house. So. I, think uh, could be indicating liquidation sometimes people taking profits but it, it doesn't suggest to me that it's a terrible time but it, it does seem to be a, a turning point in other periods um, so right now what we're if I go right to the let's go to the month view we see that it peaked uh, we're going to go so as you can see, guys, uh, you you probably want to Google Zoidsoft for a bit more in-depth analysis when it comes to this kind of thing. I mean, I'm still learning, uh, so I'm probably not the best teacher, I guess. Um, so yeah, you just just do you do yourself, you do your own homework and figure it out yourself, basically. But the, there is a couple that I want you to uh, also check out. Um, what was her name again? Uh, jo Joni, Joni Petrie here, this one, this lady here. She does some amazing stuff. Um, she's check her videos out. So this one's gone out recently, very recently. She does webinars and all kinds of educational stuff. I'll like that one. Oh, yeah. And uh, might even make a comment. Joni, you've changed my outlook. Okay. Thanks. So check out her channel. Uh, she also did an earlier one. This one is very new, actually. One I, the previous one I saw was, uh, let's have a look here. We can check out her channel. For an, for an earlier, earlier version. 10 months ago, maybe. Could have been this one. Hello. How are you this morning? It's here, uh, 11 a.m. here in Dallas, Texas. Okay, she was streaming this live. My son, Austin Daniel Petrie, who is going to be one of the 
speakers at the conference that is this weekend. My goodness, if you haven't signed up, okay. One of those anyway, check her out. I guess that's her son, so that's cool. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to apply some of what I've learned so far um, to to my own trading activities and. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll do a follow-up to that once I've got my head around all this horoscope shit. Don't forget I'm over on IGTV, so I post my shit once a week on IGTV and uh, also on YouTube. Subscribe on those channels and you'll catch all my, my latest uh, video analysis on the marketplace and also some more thoughtful uh, conceptual ideas I have 